guys, it is a hot day out, so I'm wearing my tank top, and I just got out of the gym. It's a Friday evening. I'm also going to see Top Gun Maverick today, and I cannot wait to see it. The review will probably be posted on Saturday, I'm guessing, but I just got done watching episodes one and two, which are titled part one and part two of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, I've been most anticipating this show since it was announced, and I'm so glad we are here. Ewan McGregor is here in this show, and let's get into it. So I'm not going to be reviewing every single episode. I'm only reviewing the first two, and then the next video I make about Obi-Wan will be my series... Uh, series review of it all but let's get into it and let's talk spoilers by the way but let's talk about episode one so one of the things i really loved about episode one was the big recap we get all the flashbacks back to the prequels that were mainly important in case of anybody forgot i was glad that i watched the prequels almost a couple months ago now and just to re see the recap i thought that was a good idea for uh disney's part to do that but overall, I enjoyed the recap. It was like five or six minutes long, though. It was a long recap, but it was needed. So now, we get introduced in the show of episode one. We get introduced to the Grand Inquisitor and the Third Sister. And we understand that their motives are that they're hunting the last Jedi that are left. This show takes place ten years after the events of Revenge of the Sith. So there's a lot of time in between. But like I said, they are hunting down the last remaining Jedi that exist and i thought that was that's a cool motive from them now we are on tatooine for the main mainly the first episode which love or hate tatooine i don't mind it i just rather go somewhere else i feel like it's been done in every single incarnation of star wars so it is what it is but we are on tatooine and we get our first look at ewan mcgregor as obi-wan and he is a retired jedi to the to the max he got he buried his lightsaber in the sand he stopped using the force he is just a laborer and he comes back and he just watches luke and keeps an eye on luke now he made the promise to owen that when luke is ready he will train him now we know that owen is not does not want obi to train luke at all because he knows what happened to his father anakin and he doesn't trust obi in that mark now couple things happen throughout the episode and we see that Owen sticks up for Obi little let alone he really mainly sticks up for his family and Luke where do we go from that we get introduced to the young Princess Leia and I have to say I love this actress I really do I think she is adorable and I, I really I just like her as an actress and she is pulling off the character of a young Leia really well but we end up getting introduced to Princess Leia as she's 10 years old and what happens is we see that she gets captured by this gang and basically his parents I put in quotation marks contact Obi and say you need to come here and save rescue our daughter he is hesitant at first then his father and then Leia's father comes to Tatooine to visit Obi and motivates Obi to get off his ass get the fuck out of Tatooine and go rescue Leia we see Obi, he digs up his lightsaber, and we are off to episode two. Let me just say a couple more things. I rate episode one a nine out of 10. I love everything about this episode. The only thing that I did not enjoy is the lack of action. And I'm glad that this show, or this episode took its time to tell the story that we're getting into. And I'm really glad with that. But there was a lack of action in this episode, so to speak. It is what it is, but Episode 2 really makes up for that, but I gotta say the visuals and the score are awesome. And Ewan, come on guys, we all know Ewan's awesome. And I'm so glad to see him back as Opie. But let's get into Episode 2. Episode 2, we see basically Obi goes to this different place I forgot what it's called but he is hunting or he is looking for Leia and he finds her but we learn to find out that the third sister orchestrated this whole uh, abduction to get Obi. The third sister is obsessed with Obi-Wan and wants to get him for Lord Vader. And I think that's really a good motive on her part. But overall, this is an action-heavy episode, so it was... It was awesome. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed a lot of the visuals, uh, the score once again, and the action was fucking badass. I'm not going to lie. But basically, we see Obi meet up with Leia. Leia trusts him at first, and then she starts to not trust him because she sees that Obi is now wanted by everybody 
and it's kind of cool it gives me this episode gave me some john wick chapter three vibes where everybody's out to get him which i thought was pretty cool we're probably gonna see someone like boba maybe or mando down the line which would be pretty awesome but i'll talk about that after i talk the rest about episode two but in the end of this episode Leia trusts obi by obi using the force for the first time in 10 years to save her and then what what do we know the third sister ends up killing the grand inquisitor inquisitor and she is basically telling obi that you're afraid of me and that i want you back for lord fader and if you didn't know obi anakin is still alive and the expression on the way that ewan acts is just awesome it really is and the expression that he gives is like holy shit and I thought that was awesome. And I, I, I just, I loved it. And then, of course, they escape. Obi and Leia escape this new place, planet, or whatever the fuck it is. And then we get to see our first look as Hayden Christensen taking a bath, a sponge bath, or whatever it's called, as Darth Vader or Anakin. And holy fuck, I cannot wait for the rest of this, se this series. I can't. I am so excited. This is a six episode series. We're already two episodes in it and I'm enjoying it. This episode, I give a 10 out of 10. That's it. That's it. There's nothing else to say. But my hopes and uh, my hopes and expectations for the rest of the show, I just hope it just keeps going as it's going. I'm really enjoying it. I had high hopes for it and they're starting to Fingers crossed, pay off. Now, I do hope that we do get to see a couple more cameos, possibly, that are meaningful, not like, oh, you know that guy, you know that guy. Possibly some of the people I think we might see Ahsoka, or we might see maybe Endo, Boba, especially with the bounty of going after Obi. Maybe Boba, I think, has a higher chance than Mando, but I think it'd be cool to see Mando. I do, um, some in some way, form. I think that we might see Yoda, possibly, I think. But guys, I only can speculate now, and I will get back to you when I make my series review of this show. But guys, so far, Obi-Wan Kenobi lives up to the hype, and that is it. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my Top Gun Maverick review. Probably will be out sometime on Saturday morning. But guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.